Hello, this is K6OZY. I usually use the screen capture software, but in this video I want to demonstrate uh, the IC7300's uh, ability to do pack tour and win link just fine. So I have it hooked up to a, P3, a P4 Dragon modem, and I am using win link with these settings. And we're going to try to connect to the station down in Mexico. I'm also monitoring it on my Flex 6700. I have it hooked up to a <clears throat> loop antenna while this uh, 7300 is on my Carolina Wyndham. The loop antenna is kind of close, too close. It won't hurt it, but it's going to really overwhelm uh, the radio being 50 watts right next to it in my backyard. So let's see if it'll connect. Perfect. No mail. Well, let's, uh, that was too easy. Let's compose a new email and uh, write something that has a little bit of uh, size to it. I normally use this GPX file uh, to forward out to myself. Um, with an attachment so that we get some uh, uh, longer transmission times. So I'm going to send it to myself. Okay, I'm trying to do this one-handed, sorry guys. net, and I'll post it to my outbox here. And uh, let's see if I can uh, do this again. This will take a while longer because I'm sending out, but I really love these Pactor modems, they're fantastic for Winlink. Uh, works great on my IC7200, my IC7000, and now this 7300. Obviously the, um, I have a, um, the big brother, the 7800, hooked up to my Flex 6700, and I uh, haven't had any problems with that either. So uh, let's, um, let's give it a try. I'm going to hit start, let's go try to go back to that Mexican station. Uh, I'm only using 50 watts, which uh, is probably enough. Don't want to blow up the uh, the Pixel Loop uh, amplifier that's hooked up to the loop antenna. I'm listening to the loop antenna here um, while I'm transmitting here, just because uh, just because I can. Let's try it now. Bands are really bad today, really bad. I'm only at 600 BPS on this transmission. My 
quality link is very poor. It means I'm getting lots of retries here. This is where the 7200 and the 7300 make much better uh, Pactor modem uh, radios. The duty cycle of these radios are much higher than the 7000. The 7000 overheated quite a bit. So, you know, if, if it continues to push at 200 BPS, I'm going to cancel it because this is a, too big of a, fire to a file to push at uh, 200 BPS. So. Yeah, so let me cancel that real quick. I'll try a graceful stop. And uh, sometimes it works. If not, you have to uh, do a hard abort. Oh, that good. Okay, so it cleaned the... Uh, let's see if we can find another channel. See, look at how bad the path reliability estimate is. Usually these are up in the 80s. But uh, right now... It's so poor. Um, I'll do a recalculation, but I don't, I don't think we're um, messing anything up here. We just the bands are just trash right now. Sunspot number twenty-three. really bad. This guy is in um, Las Vegas. He's my most reliable partner. Let's see if I can talk to him. So he tunes uh, perfectly over there. Uh, I'm using the pass-through cable from the back of this modem directly down to here. So this is Bluetooth. My computer is Bluetooth down to here to the modem and then the modem commands the radio through the port, uh, through the uh, interlink ports between this and this. I'm not sending CIV commands, CI5 commands directly from my computer to the radio. This is why the ICOM Pactor setup like this is so nice, is you only have to command this device and it controls the radio for you. Uh, so let's uh, get the flex tuned in there, 7101, enter. Uh, Tune there as well, 7105. Let's see if uh, see if my friend in Las Vegas is home. A little bit faster. We're, we're getting a 1400 BPS link. When the bands are good, or at night, I can typically get a full 3200 BPS full speed level. As you can see, the repeating right here. Anytime it says repeating, it means the last packet did not land successfully on the other side. If the um, modem successfully gets six packets across, it will try to ramp up the speed 
to the next level. So one annoying thing about the radio I'm finding is that during transmission you can't really do much with the radio. Like if you go into the menu, the next TX cycle pulls you out of the menu like that. So you have to do things within one packet cycle. Uh, like, you know, I can change the power. Let me change the power up to about 100 watts here. See if that helps get it through. Oh, we did ramp up the speed to 2800 BPS. That's good. Let me see if I can check how the heat is going on the radio. See, up there like that. Temperature's nice and cool. That was a big concern on the, um, Seven thousand is that we had to rig up fans and stuff like that, otherwise it would just overheat. Okay, so we're getting quite a bit of power out of the radio there. The ALC is nice and low. Let's see the current draw pretty darn high there. That's the cool thing about these pack door modems is that they ramp up and ramp down without any user intervention. So they're fire and forget. They will get the data through and you don't have to worry about it failing at a particular speed level. Might take a while because this is a 28 kilobyte file which may not sound a lot like for you know, obviously internet based traffic but for HF that's this is a significant amount of data and the Bluetooth in this unit is so good in the P4 Dragons, much better than the P3 dra modems. The range on this Bluetooth adapter is huge, 200 plus feet. So I can have this all the way in like where the radio sits and take my laptop and walk anywhere in the home and it links up just fine. Let's check the heat again. Nice and cool. This is my first long transmission with the 7300. don't want to watch this, just fast forward towards the end. Since I'm a data guy, the first thing I'm going to do when I open a new radio is test its heat capabilities and full duty cycle capabilities because I rarely use this thing. I only use this thing and that, and obviously FL did you.
up all my 20 minutes for the day just in this test. That was an ungraceful disconnect, but it completed the, the send, and that took too long. That took uh, 9 minutes and 52 seconds. Lots of retries. Again, the bands are really, really bad today. But look at its temperature. This passes my temperature test. This thing can handle full duty cycle and pack toy, no problems. Well, I hope this uh, helped people who were looking at using this for digital use for Pactor and other high duty cycle modes. Maybe I'll post some videos later with uh, some FL Digi stuff, but that's pretty common. Oh, and there's my email. Alright guys, take care. Send me through.